go. Here we go now. Ah. Welcome back to another Blunt Talk with Shane Alexander, this guy right here. Uh, first off, before we start, can we take a moment and look at this? Like, is this grown man status already? Like, oh, okay. I love it. Anyways, y'all, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, today I wanted to talk about some things <sighs> between demons, astro projecting, astro projection, um, intertwining of dreams, maybe. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to give my story time out and maybe somebody will comment and explain or knows or relate to it I don't know so let's get right into it recently I've been googling astral projection learning about it studying it trying to figure out first was it real kind of figured out okay it's kind of is real it's real but now I want to do it so the last couple of weeks I have been trying to get into this vibrational state and get into the you know the, the keeping your body sleep but your mind awake type of thing and so forth, so forth. Everything was going good. At least I thought it was. Everything was going fine. I hadn't done it. You know, I, I don't have no story about, you know, looking at myself sleep. I, I haven't done anything like that yet. But some crazy weird things have been going on since I have been researching and learning about different stuff and then trying to open my mind to it. Recently, when trying to go to sleep one of these nights, this past night, I kept, I was listening to a young lady on YouTube. She was doing a, um, she was doing a, uh, like a, it's kind of, it's kind of like a meditation, but she was talking about Metatron, Metatron, Megatron, me, not Megatron. Megatron is for the Transformers. I know that, but it's Metatron or something like that. Some archangel. Either way. Okay. I always say Megatron because that's what his name looks like. Okay. Um, she was doing a meditation, a guide kind of in a sense, telling you about, teaching you about him and blah, 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 blah. And at the end of the guide, she was bringing him into the room with you, quote unquote, supposedly. Now, I didn't know that I had fallen asleep until I went to open my eyes, which that's relatable. I'm sure a lot of people do that, but it was just the fact that I wasn't sleepy. I knew I wasn't sleepy and I had headphones in my ears, the lady talking to me loud and stuff. So... I wasn't sleepy, but when I went ahead and I opened my eyes and realized, okay, I fell asleep, number one. Number two, feels like something is in the room with me, and it wasn't scary. It wasn't bothering me or nothing like that. My girlfriend was laying next to me. I just thought, you know, you just feel like something. She finished the meditation, blah, 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 blah. She said the, the archangel is leaving out the room, and, you know, he's giving you a hug as he leaves, some shit like that, whatever. I felt fine. I felt nothing else in the room. I felt fine after that. I tried to go to sleep. And this is like maybe I watched a couple videos. And let me tell you, I've, I watch scary stuff all the time. Scary stuff puts me to sleep. I love scary movies because they're it's funny to me. I laugh. But I began to try to go to sleep and, you know, take, take the phone out of my ear, do all the other stuff. I was already, I knew I was sleepy and I was tired. But I started getting a feeling again. But this time it was different. I was getting a feeling of something was standing in the corner to the right of me. And my dog's bed is right there as well. And he always sleeps in his bed. But for some reason, he wasn't in his bed. But I just felt like something, something, something. I don't know what it could have been. I don't know because I didn't try to really let my imagination keep playing with me. But I just could feel it. I felt that fear inside of me. Unfortunately, I had to go tink tink. And Ting Ting gets to go to the bathroom. So I had to go to the bathroom. But everything in me did not want to go to the bathroom. I wanted to wake my girlfriend up. But then I was like, I don't want to look like no punk ass bitch. I ain't trying to look like that. I ain't trying to. Live. I'm from Inglewood. You got me up. Ain't nothing in this corner. I'm going to get up and I'm going to go to the bathroom. Bruh. <laughs> I got to. When I say I look like a kid. Bruh. You know how you scoot real close to the bed and you trying to, like, stay as close as you can so you don't got to go nowhere else like a kid? Like, I was going to hop over my girlfriend, but I knew that I was going to wake her up and she was going to say, what's wrong with you? 
So I stuck real close to the bed, trying to just shimmy my way and ran out the room. Sitting in the bathroom, like, I'm a grown adult. This is crazy. I don't feel nothing in the bathroom, though. I feel fine. I felt fine in the bathroom. I get out. I go to start walking towards the room. My heart start beating harder again. Okay. It's like as though I'm about to walk into something. My body knew. I just didn't know. I go to walk inside the room, and I'm, I feel it again in that corner. Something is standing there looking at me. I can't describe it no other way. Like, you know, if you, you, you know, if you ever went to like 7 Eleven in the hood or any liquor store in the hood, bro, look, listen, listen, I'm gonna peep the game, peep the game. You go somewhere that you ain't supposed to be, basically. And it's like not crazy people, but weird people there. And they give you that stare. Like, they just staring at you. Like, like you can tell in their mind, they, they thinking of a lot of different things that's thinking of, that they shouldn't be thinking of, but they including you somehow. And you can feel that aura off of that. Bruh. That's exactly how I felt. I felt that aura that something, you, it didn't like me. You walk in a room and you could just feel off of somebody, you don't like me, huh? You don't like me, huh? You hating? You sipping on that hater? I don't know. So again, I tried to get to the bed, but this time I had to walk towards it. No. Nothing in me had enough umph or courage to, <laughs> I'm sorry for right now, right today, right now, now, probably it'd be different, but that setup of not knowing what was going on, I jumped over the bed, I ain't gonna lie, no lying in my game, I jumped over the bed to make sure I didn't have to walk the outside of the bed where the corner would have been that I would have had to hit, my dog still never went over there, I still don't know what that was about, I went to sleep finally went to sleep. I forced myself to go to sleep. I kept saying to myself, don't know, don't care. I don't know what it is, and I don't care what it is. I'm going to sleep, Lord. Close my eyes. Cool. <sighs> my girlfriend, I didn't tell her nothing. I didn't wake her up. My girlfriend wakes up, and she's asking me. She's, 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 she's laying there. I'm, I'm not awake. I'm asleep. But I go, huh? And she goes, do you smell that? Now, 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 she, now, and then once I asked her, I said, why did you go ahead and start talking to me? She said, because I was wanting you to wake up. I was saying it in my head. Do you smell that? Do you smell that? Do you smell that? Shane, wake up, wake up. And so I just, I don't know how, but I said, huh? I never heard her say anything with my physical ears. She says, do you smell that? And she's sitting up and she looks scared. I said, no, I don't, I don't smell nothing, babe. I don't, I don't, now that you up, I gotta go tink tink again. No, hey, but no, I don't smell nothing. What's going on? She said, I smell something. I smell this smell. It, it used to be this old ghost woman that used to sit in my room on a, on a rocking chair. And she used to just sit there and rock and watch me. Bro, we might have to do a two parts of this because there's some more stuff that's been going on. But that blew my mind. It blew my mind because I was asleep. She just woke up now. She's having feeling the fear of her childhood, whereas I was just feeling the fear of my childhood. But we don't know why. And it's crazy because we interlinked in that moment for me to wake up enough to be like, okay, are you okay? Are you good? What's going on? Needless to say, we slept with the TV on. I think we had to turn on a light that night. We grown. We know we grown. But there was something that we just couldn't put our finger on since then it's been a couple of other things but it hasn't been that aggressive it hasn't been that mm, ah, you know what I mean like feeling like something's trying to get me but I'm gonna definitely keep you guys updated and stuff like that because uh, this is a uh, this is interesting go ahead and drop a comment subscribe if you have not subscribed and if you are watching my videos please go ahead and share them because i am trying to get these subscribers up so i can go around town and throw it down throw it down no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no i'm trying to get my subscribers up so i can get so i can make this into something i'm trying to make something out of nothing so but that's going that's going i'm going to keep y'all updated on stuff like that cuz this astro projection stuff is very interesting to me i don't even know if it's really mentioned in the bible and that might be something i might try to figure out today or if anybody knows comment down below um 
And if you've had your own experiences as well, please comment down below. If you're an astro projector, please comment down below because I got to know. 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 Anyways, this has been another Blunt Talk with Shane Alexander. I will see y'all next time.